just completed another workout session told you guys I I do these three times a week I come to the to the forest to jog I do it three times a week Yo, people are on a day it's Henry crack house once again today's video it seems I'll be recording it in pigeon kind of in pigeon or maybe 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 I'll like mix the whole thing up pigeon and English so for us to better understand what I'm here to say, what's going on. How did you celebrate Christmas? You are preparing for the new year, right? Be careful, the year is the year hasn't ended yet. Still have like today, tomorrow and next tomorrow, I think. So be careful, anything can happen between now and Saturday. So always be alert and be conscious of your environment, okay? So what I want to talk about today, hmm. Let's talk about Nigerian food today. No, 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 no. Nigerian foods in plural. What, what I mean by that? Be say be um. I mean um, foods where you feel say get their root in Nigeria. African foods in plural again. What thing we they eat in Nigeria? Name me some of the things where we they chop in Nigeria. You know, when people travel to Africa, when people travel like first time travelers to Africa, they eat something, maybe, maybe their friend will take them to a restaurant in Africa, in Nigeria, they will save them some certain foods. And when they return back to their country of origin, they will say, hey, I was in Africa and I ate African food. This, now those kind of foods, now I won't make you name, name me some. I'm waiting. Okay, um, let me help you out. I know, say, if I ask you to name me African foods, I know what you could name. You could mention things like rice, beans, plantain, cassava, yam, um, yeah, things like that, right? What if I am to tell you, say, none of those things get their origins for Africa? What if I tell you, say, none of those things where you feel, say, be African food get their origins for Africa. None of those things, none of those things, or none of those things is African by origin. How would you feel? You'd be disappointed, right? Yeah, you, you'd be disappointed. Reason being that everything you've learned, everything you've learned, right from when you were in preschool in, in kindergarten everything you've been taught everything you've learned to this moment about food nutrition and everything all the, even your your religion is a lie it, it may not come as a surprise to some people but to some people eh, it, it will be a very big surprise what you mean jollof rice no be af no jollof rice is african <laughs> no no now ask yourself ask yourself this what were you eating before colonization What were your ancestors? What were we eating before colonization? Before we were visited by Europeans? Before we were visited by the Arabs? What were we eating? Because the people don't ask this same question. Say, waiting within the practice as, um, as what you call quote unquote religion before we had our first encounter with non African people. Waiting within the practice. What were we practicing? To whom? To whom were we praying to? People don't ask that question, eh? And most of them, they ignorantly reject such questions. Instead of having a dialogue, sitting down to like ask yourself, examine yourself, and ask yourself questions first. Say, hmm, that makes sense. What were we worshiping before colonization? Before we were brought jesus so the same question i ask you guys now what were you eating before colonization you could a shock safe say you could even surprise if i tell you say palm tree 
palm tree no been there our domot our backyard abi because palm tree is everywhere now in africa right palm tree is everywhere now in nigeria abi you don't ever ask yourself why there are no palm trees in the northern part of nigeria not really abi okay should we go into that? Should I go into that and talk about it? Mm, nah, I don't have time for that. Um, so, what were you eating before colonization? Yes, you had things you were eating. You had your own local delicacy, your local foods, your local grown food. And there were no rice and beans amongst them. It wasn't plantain. It wasn't rice, it wasn't beans, it wasn't... Yes, yam was a part of it, kind of. There was no maize, no corn. You were not eating beef. You were not eating chicken. Now, but why are you eating those things now? Why did you suddenly switch from eating what your ancestors used to eat to eating rice and beans, jollof rice and all that today? Why? Ever heard of the word indoctrination? Ever heard of the word white supremacy? I can tell you just a little just a short brief you had your own local this thing you had your own local food you were eating you were cultivating your own local food you were planting your own millet and quinoa and all those and all that you were eating your own fruits mango eben odara all those things you were eating them you had your own leaves you were not see 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 before I continue, even the cassava, even the yam, then the cassava tube that you, you are eating now, you originally, you were not consuming the tube, the starch, you were consuming the leaf. You were only eating cassava leaves. Man, do history. Do, do go back and do your, do go back and study your history. You were not eating the cassava tube, turning it into a bar and all that. You were eating the leaves. I'm going to go into that, but make I continue with your vineyard before, before I forget. So you were cultivating your own food. You had your dikai corn leaf. You had your kasi leaf. You were eating the leaves. You were eating the leaves. You had your bitter leaf. You, you, you had your, um, your, your, in my place, we were eating atama, aditan, all those things. You were eating eben, udara, mango, quiver, popo, all those look, things in the, in the wild. Ndia, all those things you were eating just all those things now where them don't really get them to the bottom list of food but we will be saying now now as they don't they study and people don't they seek all over the world now they don't go them don't go back to studying these local african foods and they don't discover say now those foods are what they quote now superfoods so now they are trying to bring those foods back into the food table, the nutritional this thing, list of super items you should include in your diet. Makes sense. <laughs> because Africans were eating those things and were not shitting. Let me repeat that. Our ancestors were eating our foods and were not passing out feces. Should I repeat that? <laughs> Our ancestors were eating things when no been make them the shit. No, I'm gonna make you get reason why I say I won't do this video in PG because I won't make everybody understand. I want all of you to understand. And if you've been paying attention, all these videos where I don't they talk about food. I'm not talking scientifically. I'm not using any scientific words. I haven't mentioned things where you can't pronounce. No. Though I know them, I can mention them. But I'm intentionally not doing that because if I come here and start 
telling you things and start naming things where you uh, and start saying words that are too heavy it wouldn't make sense to you because you wouldn't understand you you really wouldn't understand my point where i'm where i'm trying to take you to let me put it that way so i have been so i have tried and i'm i'm trying and i want to keep trying to make these videos in as simple as english as i can sometimes i'll be mixing pidgin english too so that you nigerians my fellow brothers and sisters can better understand my point and where why what i'm trying to do for you guys our ancestors were eating things when nobody make them the shit our and although sure our ancestors were shitting but they were shitting like goats let me explain that if you have a healthy goat, if you have a goat, if your family, if in your family compound you guys are rearing goat, and that goat is eating, that goat is eating what what that goat is supposed to eat. That goat is eating um, grass. Is feeding you're feeding that goat that goat grass. You take the you take that goat out into the open, into the forest, into the bush, and that goat will eat grass when that goat shits the sheets are always very tiny 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 hard 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 small and they don't sting that is how our ancestors were shitting our sheets no no been the sting we were shitting very small why because we were eating organic food we were eating leaves we were eating natural food Get reason why your shit they stink, but I don't want to go into that today. That will be a, be a subject for another video. So you were eating those things where I don't mention before: leaves and edita, natama, ogasi, ogasi, bitter leaf, mango, eben. Not the avocado because avocado no be native to Africa, though though avocado is very healthy. But Eben, our Eben, the natural Eben, the long thing that grows in Africa, mostly in the tropical part of Africa, like in West Africa. That thing, that fruit has more nutritional value than avocado but you won't hear that in any paper any of these things any studies the reason why you won't see that or read that anywhere is the same reason why you started it why you are eating rice now and eating beans now and eating plantain now and using palm oil to cook the same reason why you're eating cassava now the tube is the same reason why you've turned cassava tube into gary Turn it into fufu, stash, make pure stash out of it. The same reason why you're eating pap, corn stash. Corn stash is banned in some countries around the world. If you think I'm lying, Google it. Corn stash is pap. That thing you take, you use hot water to turn it, turn it, turn it, and it becomes like a porridge and you add sugar, add milk and eat it. It's banned in some countries all over the world. You had your food, you had things you were eating until people came to your land. People came to their land, brought their food. They couldn't eat your food because they couldn't uh, metabolize your food. Their bodies couldn't metabolize their fo your food. Their bodies couldn't um, adapt to your food. And they did not want to even adapt because if you living somewhere like us now, we, we've left Africa. We don't live in Africa on, on the continent. We came over here. We've adapted to the system, how things work. Here. We've adapted to some of the, those of you eating food that are, uh, that are native to this place, to this Western hemisphere, your body has ad adapted and adjusted to you eating all those GMOs and chemicals. Yes, that's why sometimes you get sick. 
Now, they did not even want to allow your body, uh, their body. They didn't even want to, man, I'm being distracted. I'm sorry. So, let's get focused. Now, they didn't even want to allow their bodies to adapt to your food. They outright wrote your food off. They outright immediately condemned your food, removed your food from the list of, you know, they started telling you your food was, was poisonous to you. This is what happened. This is just a little history. Me, I'm just going into, you know, I want to learn a little history. That's what happened. That's what happened. They didn't even want to eat your food. They didn't even want to try. They, they didn't even want to try. They condemned your food. They labeled your food poisonous to them. They told you your food was poisoning you. They told you your cassava leaves, the cassava leaves you were using to cook, had cyanide in, in it. So you shouldn't eat the leaves. You should rather cultivate, cultivate it and take the root out. They did that for a reason. They brought you corn and told you millet, quinoa, wild rice you were eating were not good enough. So you have, that you should start eating rice and beans. Why? You should start eating corn. Why? Because those things, those things where I just mentioned now, things, rice, beans, cassava, plantain, when you day school, waiting them tell you say those kind of things be. If you feel remember, when you were still in school, them teach you. You were thought, you were thought that those things be cash crops, Abi. Now waiting be cash crop. <laughs> waiting be cash crops. Waiting be cash. What's the meaning of cash? Cash na money, Abi. Cash get something to do with economics, right? No, 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 no. Not economics because economics got something to do with land, with echo and mix and blah blah blah. But cash get something to do with money, right? It means say uh, those crops where they come introduce give you to the eat. Them feed make money out of those crops from you and all over the world because people all over the world them don't travel all over. Remember, these were infidels, colonizers. So they've been travel around the world, spreading these same particular seeds to every part of the world where they touch, they kill the inhabitants, they kill the natives, eh, and introduce these crops to them. So by doing that, they could now imp import these things. You know, it became a business of importing these crops from this place to another place you need these crops to come from another land you, some company someone has to build up to like establish a company to be importing and exporting these things so it became all about money because you're been i went to nigeria i visited nigeria about three months ago about three months ago i couldn't bring a ben over to Europe. Why? Because it perished. They all got perished. <laughs> I wrapped them in something I wanted to bring. They all got destroyed. The only way you feed bring a bin over here is by freezing them, put them in deep freezer and then you bring them like that in the deep freezer to Europe. Because if you remove, once you take them out of the deep freezer, they will spoil. So these things no be cash crops. Those kind foods no be cash crops. Because you know if you transport them from one part of the world to another. You need cash crops. Cash crops be corn. Things like corn. Rice. You can transport rice from the South Pole to the North Pole. Nothing will happen to them. <laughs> you feed bring corn, maize, from the South Pole to, pole to the North Pole. Nothing will happen to them. Beans, the same. So these things gradually became your foods. These things gradually became your foods. Let me repeat that. These things, rice, beans, plantain, corn, chicken, hog, pork, and all that, they gradually, they gradually 
became your food. So now, our younger generation, now, even you, if you're older now, if, you, if you've not done your due study, if you've not studied things and you are not like, a, like a nutritional conscious of the things you eat and how you feed your body, you will know these things. So now you think rice is African. You think Gary is African. You think plantain is African. You think cassava is African. No! Cassava was brought to Africa by the Portuguese. We know been getting for Africa. Google it. <laughs> and I don't believe in Google, but Google it. Cassava came from South America, was introduced to, into Africa by the Portuguese. Palm tree came from Southeast Asia, not indigenous to Africa, not indigenous to Nigeria, was brought to Nigeria. Google it. Corn, maize, or then they no get Google it. We were eating millet. Millet no be seed. Millet no be uh, um, wheat. Sorry. Millet no be seed. Uh, wheat. Millet, not wheat. 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 W H E A T. Millet no be wheat. Millet na seed. We were eating quinoa. But you don't notice how they don't begin now to they reintroduce quinoa into the food chain. They call them now a better alternative to rice. <laughs> you don't notice them now how them don't they begin to introduce phonio into the food list. Telling the world now that it's a superfood. Most of you are eating spinach, eating broccoli, because you've been told that broccoli and spinach are super food, very healthy. But tell me, in Africa, show me anywhere in Africa where you can grow spinach naturally. Show me any part of Africa where you can grow broccoli naturally. I'm waiting. It's better. Like we say in Germany, I'm waiting. Show me any, even groundnut, peanut, peanut is not native to Africa, was introduced to Africa by some people, by our colonizers. By our colonizers. So back to my question. Show me where, which part of Africa can you grow spinach naturally in the wild? You go into the forest and you see spinach. None. You had water leaf. There is this leaf, tiny, 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 thick, very thick, very, very dense. It, 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 it is very nutrient dense. We call it water leaf. We use it in my place to cook things like a fang soup. It, 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 we call it mom moikong in my dalit. That's your spinach. That's what you're supposed to be eating. But you're not eating those. You're not eating it because they don't tell you, say, that no day better pass spinach. You've been told and you've been taught that spinach is a better, this thing, um, is a better or whatever choice to water leaf. Who told you that? Who told you that? Where did you learn that? You know, it get things where we they do sometimes where we no ask questions. You know, because see, all these things you don't hear me talk. All these things you don't hear me talk. If you are in doubt, if you they doubt me, if you they doubt me, sit down and ask yourself questions. Ask yourself, say some of these things where I don't mention. Who brought them to you? And now who they? Now who they? Um, uh, who they benefit from these things? On whose advantage? Make an ask them like that. Or for whose advantage? Now who they benefit from these things? Now you're eating GMOs. GMOs. Gen uh, genetically modified organism. It means say, now companies, now you buy your seeds from certain companies before you can plant them. 
It's not supposed to be like that. You're supposed to seeds. Plants are supposed to reproduce themselves. Plants are, were meant. Nature created plants to be able to, to reproduce, to replicate. The same way we can have sex and reproduce. You don't make your babies in a... Sure, there are babies. Sure, there are lab babies. <laughs> but 99% of us have sex to reproduce. Plants were supposed to do the same thing. All plants are supposed to do the same thing. Plants are supposed to reproduce, spread their seeds. There is what is it we were taught that time? Um, pollination. Yes, we were taught pollination. Even, even, even at your primary school level, you are taught pollination. They teach you how plants they pollinate. Some birds will sit, will sit on, on, on a plant, take the seed, eat the suck the nectar out of the plant or, or, or of the flower. With the pollens will get attached to their beaks and shit. They will then fly to another thing and then all this the plant will just spread their seeds. You eat, you take the seed, eat it, drop it somewhere else. The seed will germinate and grow into another tree. That is how plants are supposed to reproduce. But now you're buying seeds from a company. You have to import your seeds from a company for you to be able to plant them, Abby. Now you're cultivating fish. You're cultivating fish. Fish farming. You call it fish farming. I'm talking to you Nigerians, eh? Because you're doing stupid things that, you know, you know you're following things. No, you're following trends. You're following trends. Things will come up. The things will just come up and you just, you have no idea what that thing is about. You have no structure in place to regulate how such things are being done. You just copy it and just do it. Why? Because you want to make quick box. Because of poverty. Yes, I understand. But your government should put things in place. Should put like a government, like a governmental, like a, a, a like an office in place to regulate how those things are managed. You don't have such things in Nigeria. You don't have such bodies in Nigeria. Fish farming. Now everybody is going into fish farming. Why? Because you want to make a quick billion dollars. No, 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 not million dollars. I'm going to cut that out. Because you're going to make a few million naira. Everybody is fish farming. Everybody is um, doing um, snail farming. Everybody is raising chicken. You raise chicken. Organic chicken. Your wild chicken. Yes. Even those your wild chicken, they are hybrids. I understand but even those ones those ones that are roaming around roaming about freely in your in your village compound those ones they take a very long time to mature from from the chicks from the uh, from the egg hatching from the hatching to adulthood will take at least at least eight months at least eight months for them to grow into adults but today People, you go buy small chicks in cartons. You import them. So some they bring them. They bringing them from China. Import them, put in a place, cage them, and be feeding them for fertilizer and steroid and corn and all that. And they grow into adults and they, 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 they grow into maturity in like a little over two weeks. And you take them out, sell them. Sometimes you take them out. Some will buy them and go cook them and eat them. And then you get sick and you start wondering why you're dying. It's annoying. It's annoying. It's annoying because you're not listening. People are saying this. People have been saying this. But you're just not paying attention. You're just not listening. You keep doing the same fucking damn stupid thing over and over again. Your healthcare system isn't working. There is no hospital. There are no hospitals in your country that's working. There are no, you know, there are no affordable hospitals in your country. Hospital, you can go and they take, you know, they diagnose you and then treat you and send you home. No, you don't have them. But you keep doing these dangerous practices. You, you know, you keep practicing these things over and over again. And then you get sick, you die, and then your people will start 
pointing fingers at, uh, uh, at the elderly in the village. Your people will start pointing fingers at, at the old people in the village. Then go start calling all people witches and wizards. But you're eating, you're farming fish. A fish, do you, a fish is supposed to swim freely in the ocean. I was about to say fucking ocean. A fish is supposed to swim freely. Do you know how large our oceans are? Do you know how big our oceans be? You sabi how big our oceans be? Hmm? Fish supposed to swim around, swim about freely. But you're gashing them in a small box, put dirty water in it, put dirty water in that box, pour fertilizer, artificial corn. You feeding fish corn. You're feeding chicken corn. Chicken no supposed to eat corn. You're feeding your cows, your goats corn. Cows no supposed to eat corn, but they're gonna eat it. They're gonna eat the corn so be so because they don't get any other option. And then you get high blood pressure. You don't even have money to be checking yourself once in a while to see how your blood pressure is doing. You're developing sicknesses, building up, destroying your liver, destroying your lungs, destroying your kidney and everything. If someone tells you, hey, this what you're doing is wrong, you could start telling that person, saying about Belen Getabi. Say that person don't like the business way he did do. I had a talk the other time with my friend in Nigeria. I was like, she asked me, hey, you look good. I said, yeah. What have you what have you been eating? I said I only eat fruits. He was like, yeah, fruits they are very expensive. Fruits here are very expensive to buy in Nigeria. If you eat fruits now, you are a wealthy man. You only rich people eat fruits. And I'm sitting there looking at her like this. You're telling me rich only rich people eat fruits in Africa. In Af in Africa, in Nigeria, fruits are expensive. This is someone who owns her own house, has a house with a huge land in the compound, and you're telling me fruits are expensive? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I should be the one telling you mangoes and quebas and popo and 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 and, and udara and eben. You don't even find those things here. You can't find udara here. You can't find eben here. You can You rarely find mangoes here. I'm the one who should tell you how expensive those things are over here. Not you. You live in Nigeria. You have villages. Go to your fucking parents' village and plant some trees. Go there and plant some fucking fruits. Stop talking nonsense. What do you eat in the morning? I don't eat breakfast. Ask her, what do you eat in the Oh, we eat bread. We usually eat bread and fried egg sometimes. And I'm like, seriously? Then you're telling me fruits expensive in 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 Nigeria. You know, you know. Sometimes when you guys talk, sometimes when I listen to some of them talk, the reason is going and they give. You know, sometimes they make me vex because I don't talk. And before, had I known what I know now, I would not be in Europe. I'll be in Nigeria. And I'm trying to take myself back, establish things, establish an institute, a research. Like I'm trying, I'm about to establish a research institute where we will research our natural food, our herbal medicine, our roots and herbs. You're telling me fruit expensive to buy in Nigeria. You have, you're not paying rent. You have. <laughs> land abundant go and fucking plant the mango it's gonna take four years for it to mature stop eating the things you're eating the reason why you're sick is because you're eating the wrong food you're eating the wrong type of food you're eating things you were not meant to be eating you were not designed to be eating rice you were not designed to be eating beans you were not designed to be eating maize and corn because they are not native to to your land, you always you you were designed and placed in Africa, and God the God the Creator created and planted things for you to be eating.
Now you're eating even things that are not native to Africa. You are trying very hard to cultivate them in Africa. You are trying very hard to plant them in Africa. You are struggling to cultivate spinach and broccoli in Africa. Why? They won't grow. No, they won't grow. Because they are not organic. They are just not organic. No, they are man-made. They won't grow in Africa. Africa is blessed. Africa is... I cannot yarn too much. So my next video will talk about... Um, we'll talk about fasting. We'll talk about the effect of fasting. Why you should fast. Why it's important to fast once in a while. Either just dry fasting or intermediate fasting. I'm Henry Krakhaus, and if I've been shouting, I caused a lot in this video. I'm sorry. I truly apologize. I'm sincerely sorry for causing and all that. All that, but, um, you know, once in a while, you just have to let it out, you know. Be careful. The year isn't over yet. And um, always be alert, security conscious wherever you go. Don't be in a hurry. Mm, next year is still... Um, the, the next year, um, you know, some of the things you couldn't achieve this year, you can still achieve them next year. Please like, and um, if you feel this video has touched you in one way or the other, please do me a favor, like, share, and click this, um, the thumb up button. So um, some other maybe like-minded people might be able to uh, see this video. I'm Henry Krakhaus and um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, stay blessed and always. Man, it's cold. <laughs>